what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video we are analyzing lebron james aka the goat of this generation ladies and gentlemen now kevin durant obviously would be second in the goat status but currently he is inactive due to an injury so he's not playing but lebron james is playing he is known for getting every single call in the history of the game because every little touch on LeBron James was always a call, you know what I'm saying, far as fouls goes. But this ref is doing a foul play right here. He did not call LeBron James travel. Now, for those of you that aren't basketball fans, you may not know exactly what a travel is. Basically, if you are caught palming the ball, um, dribbling the ball too high, or if you are just walking flat out, not even dribbling the ball, you're just walking with the ball in your hand, that is considered a travel. So LeBron James makes his dribble move as he moves up the half court line. And then he just decides, you know what, I'm going to, you know, tell everybody to go where they need to be in their spots. And he just casually travels. And the ref right here, this guy right here, just didn't see the play at all. But considering he is actually all the way on the court and he has full view of what's going on and he did not blow his whistle. Here we have Joe Ingles who always guards LeBron James and he tries desperately to get the ref's attention. He's like, yo, you didn't see that? He just traveled. Like, guys, just take a look at it. So here we have him dribble, dribble. Now he's traveling, takes another dribble, takes another dribble, passes the ball to KCP. Let me play it one more time because you have to see when the ball just stops dribbling and he still continues to walk with the ball in his hand. Once you stop your dribble, you're supposed to just stop completely. You make that pass to the next person or you take a shot wherever it is that you stopped at. You know what I'm saying? Because you took your initial three dribbles. If you were to take a, a fourth dribble, that is considered a travel or walking too many steps. This right here, ridiculous. Travel, travel, dribble, 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 pass. Joe Ingles just, he's just like, I don't understand this. And then the other thing that happened with LeBron James at this very same game, he was, um, he checked out of the game, gave his sneakers to a fan in the crowd. Um, by the way, they were visiting Utah, so they're not in LA. This is Utah's home court, but there are LA fans in the crowd. So he gave someone his sneakers. Now, mind you, as I said, he has checked out of the game, meaning he has finished. He was not going back in the game. He finished for the night. So yeah, he had his shoes off and he was celebrating over here because this is where the Lakers, um, um, this is you know, their team side, this is their side, and Utah was on that side. So, yeah, he was over here. As you can see, um, it's not in this video, by the way, um, but there is a video on Twitter. But point being was he was all the way over here, checked out of the game. He had his socks on, and he was celebrating his team's success because they were beating Utah. But he was all the way on the court with his socks on and people found it as a sort of disrespect towards the Utah nation. Now, if you ask me in my opinion, I may not be the greatest basketball mind, but I don't think he was simply disrespecting the nation. It's just this man has worked very hard. His team has the best record in the NBA. He is playing the best basketball that he has ever played in a long time. And Yes, he gave his shoes to a fan. What did what what did you expect him to do? It's not like they just randomly gonna okay, LeBron, you gave away your sneakers. Let's get you another one real quickly before we have the commissioner down here and he, you know, issue you a fine for not wearing shoes. Bruh, he checked out of the game. <laughs> he was finished. This would have happened anyway had he been walking towards the locker room. He would have took off his shoes and gave it to a fan. It still would have been the same thing. You know, but people freaking they they overreacted because he walked out on the court and he was celebrating and he was standing there. Now, I would say if I was a referee, I would say, you know what, LeBron James, you can't be all the way out on the court like this. That's where 
I would be throwing something at him, you know, like shade or something, you know what I'm saying? Because for one, we all know just logically when we're playing basketball, you can't have more than whatever amount of players that should be on the floor at once. So you have your regular five players. Technically, LeBron would be the sixth player because he was all the way on the court. Now he's not checked into the game and he's not a part of the play. But if there were, you know, an accidental pass to LeBron James and he were to touch the ball, then that's considered, you know, like out of bounds or something, or they had one too many players on the floor. So that is where I would have said, you know what? All right, LeBron James, you don't need to be all the way out here. Don't point out the fact that he's not wearing sneakers. Just point out the fact that he was on the court. He was celebrating, but he had a reason to be celebrating. He wasn't disrespecting the nation of Utah. He loves basketball too much to disrespect any nation. He goes everywhere and puts on a show no matter what. You know what I'm saying? doesn't matter what jerseys he's wearing. He has a mutual love for the game just as he has a mutual respect for a lot of players in this league no matter what people has to say about him, you know? So, yeah, I came to the defense of LeBron James. <laughs> this is something that you guys won't see all the time, but I just felt that it was kind of stupid for people to criticize him for doing that. The only thing you should have been criticizing him for was this incredible travel. With him being the type of player that he is and playing at the level that he's playing, he should have never made this sort of travel. But then he actually told the ref, you know, just before halftime, he said that could have been the worst thing that I've done in my life ever. You know what I'm saying? Like he finally realized after he looked up at the screen and everything that he actually did travel, you know, so he acknowledged it. He didn't try to, you know, argue with the ref that it wasn't a travel because the ref didn't call it. But it was crazy. You know, people had to literally tell him and it had to be projected on a screen for him to see himself and realized that he actually traveled. Like he was that into the game and that into this play right here that he was trying to set up for KCP. Let me just play it one more time. So the dribble, now he's walking the ball. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, this is, this is crazy. Cause he literally, it looked like he was palming the ball and he just walked, he stopped and then proceeded with another set of dribbles and then pass the ball and Joe Ingles right here as I mentioned once again this is the guy that's guarding him he's just like yo trying to get the ref's attention and how do you not see that and by the way this ref got a weird looking head right here I don't know if this looks strange to you guys maybe it's just because the video is caught in a weird pause but he looked like he got a skittle head or something like a crushed skittle head <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot literally sit here and watch this. Like, th this is too hilarious, yo. It's just like, yo, you don't see this, bro? Let me play it one more time. Look, he just walked and carried the ball. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, drop a like, and comment down below. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.